Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Triangle Strategy Walkthrough. Alright, so we just took our Chapter 9 vote for the third time. <laughs> uh, let's get going. In exchange for his aid, Sorcelay orders House Wolfort to transport his illicit salt. Serenoa, however, intends to bring word of the minister's crimes to the holy state of Hyzat. In order to succeed, he must delve deep into the nation's internal affairs while avoiding Sorcelay's notice. So you've decided to accept my proposal. A wise decision, Lord Serenoa. As you have requested, none shall know of the salt's death. But you are still too young for true wisdom, it seems. Huh. He means, let us not speak of the obvious, my lord. It's prudent to speak as little as possible to prevent any unnecessary complications. One never knows who might be listening. <laughs> Fortune favored you with a capable retainer. I beg your pardon, Minister, but I must entreat you to recall the aid you offered in exchange for ours. I give you my word it shall be done. Booker, I'll leave the rest of the arrangements to you. Yes, Minister. If you all will follow me into the antechamber, we may discuss the details further. Okay, let's see here. Oh wow. Uh, let's uh, let's do this side story first. Uh, so it says, Camsel of the Saintly Seven speaks with the merchant Claris on matters of salt and receives a startling report. What? Who would dare send an army to test our borders? They are soldiers of House End, by all appearances. Sorcery, you go too far too often of late. Perhaps this means the rumors are true, Minister Kamsel. There is still nothing to conclusively prove M's involvement in illicit salt trading. Which is why you must investigate. You are Hyzant's Minister of Domestic Affairs, are you not? The illicit salt market grows larger by the day, strangling our own trade. Against one of the saintly seven, I can do nothing without the Hierophant's express permission. Perhaps you cannot, but is there not another with plans already in motion? Exham, you mean? Even so, I am not at liberty to act on naught more than a whim. I must prioritize our land's stability above all else. Let's, uh, let's do the next main story here at uh, Whiteholm Castle. It says, Cordelia reflects on her duties as queen. So, I am queen. What should I do? You should listen to the Archduke and obey. Is that all the Archduke wants? An obedient wife? And here I thought the Esfrosti valued freedom. So long as you must look to others, you do not deserve freedom. <gasps> freedom is a privilege, and only those with the strength to see their will realized are deserving of it. It is not given, it is taken. And it is not often taken easily. This I know. I see. Thank you. Next time you think to ask that question, answer it yourself. Brother, 
father. Look over me until I find the strength I require. What is Gustadolf thinking to marry a sniveling brat? No glory is worth her dismal company. It is unacceptable. He should have let me deal with those obstinate boars in Glenbrook. <laughs> Saranoa and his retinue decide not to transport Sorcely's illicit salt, but will their risk see them rewarded? You've made a bargain with Minister Sorcely? The appearance of one in any case. But we mustn't grow complacent. Aye. One of his men wouldn't stop glowering at Benedict. He may yet suspect our true motives. Nevertheless, we shan't stray from the course we've decided upon, if that's what worries you. Tell them, Benedict. Minister Sorsley has asked us to deliver unregulated salt to Esfrost by means of a secret route. We shall make it appear as though we are bound for the Grand Duchy, but in truth, we shall divert from the route and make for the capital of Hyzant. I've already scouted the way, a shortcut through the ravine. Then you intend to use the illicit goods to prove Minister Sorsley's crimes to the Hierophant. But will a little salt be enough to land one of the saintly seven in the dungeons? After all, he's influential and well-connected enough to have weathered unsavory accusations for years. If we don't present our case perfectly, we're apt to be the ones clapped in chains, not the other way around. We only need get to the capital for our plan to succeed. The saintly seven may pretend they stand united, but there are cracks in that facade. If we but exert the right leverage, Sorcelay will fall. True, there are those who must trust him. Minister Exham, for example. Indeed. Now then, we shall depart come midnight. As you command. Eridor. Uh, <clears throat> right you are. Quiet as a mouse, I'll be. Serenoa and his retinue depart the Citadel of the Sands under the cover of night and make their way to the Hyzantian capital. They press onward through the moonless dark, guided by naught but the faintly flickering light of hope. All right, looks like we've got a... Oh, there's a side story first. Uh, a report from one of his subordinates spurs Sorsley to take a new course of action. House Wolford means to betray me, you say? What leads you to believe this? A chance sighting one of my vassals had of a suspicious woman, apparently poking around the path to the capital. From her description, there's no doubt she was none other than Anna of House Wolford. The woman who serves, incidentally, at Benedict's right hand. She is his creature. I see. Then they mean to bring evidence against me. The danger is too great to be ignored, Minister. Indeed. I trust you will take care of it before it becomes a problem. Of course. I've sent soldiers that way already, and I shall join them shortly.
All right, so uh, next up is the exploration phase. It says, in the dead of night, Serenoa and the others approach the citadel of the sands on their way to the capital. Good. We haven't been followed. No cause to relax just yet, milady. The moment you drop your guard is the moment the enemy's apt to strike. Ain't it, Benedict? Indeed. This is where I would position soldiers for an ambush, were I to set a trap for us. Aye. A hunter would have the upper hand here. Let us scout the area to be safe. All right, I should see how the others fare and ensure we've not been too conspicuous. Uh, all right, looks like, yeah, we do have a couple of conviction choices. Uh, we've already done this, you know, exploration phase, so there's not going to be anything new as far as items. What is behind Roland here? What is this thing? Like some sort of weird weed? Yeah, like a plant of some sort. Okay. Oh, I hate this map. It reminds me of the, uh... God, that mental mock battle. Fort? Fort something? Brutal. All right. Well, let's talk to Eridor here. Uh, this Nikon doesn't suit me. If I'm honest, I'd much rather take the fight to him. But worry not. We'll keep you safe, even if they try to ambush us. Uh, do keep your voice down, Eridor. They'll not ambush us so easily if they cannot hear us coming. Or if House End attacks, they would hand us the chance to secure a witness to their crimes. They hand us the chance to secure. I don't think I understand this one. If House End attacks, they would hand us the chance to secure a witness to their crimes. Hmm. I'm not really sure what they're trying to say by that. Uh, or all that matters is that Frederica and Ro Roland remain safe. Guard them with your life. Wow. Okay, that's... <laughs> Let's go with that one. Cares that we care about his... His friend and his uh, betrothed, eh? I leave him to me. I am ever House Wolford Shield. Which means I'll be watching your back as well, my lord. Just like I've done since you were a wee babe all swaddled in Eridor. Please, there'll be time enough for tales of my infancy if we keep our wits about us now. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's chat with Anna here. The enemy has set a trap for us. It may have been my survey of alternate routes that alert, alerted them to our presence. I felt eyes on me multiple times. I pray they were not the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Any trap house end sets is a good opportunity to secure a witness to their crimes. Okay, I, are they saying like they're going to take somebody prisoner here? Is that what that is, is that what that's supposed to mean? Good opportunity to secure a witness to their crimes. Yeah, it, it seems like what? So we're gonna what? Hold somebody hostage and kind of well, or I guess bring them in. I, I guess that could be. Anyways, we cannot be sure they were. Perhaps it was someone sympathetic to your cause, as it were. Uh, or I know of no better spy than you. If the worst comes to pass, the order was mine, and I shall answer for it. Yeah, that's it's like a nice thing to say, I guess. It hardens me to hear that. Ah, I only speak the truth. You have been discovered and killed thrice over where Eridor to fill your shoes. And I would have failed to lift his shield each time. We need his protection. I, I count myself lucky to have such skilled allies. We feel the same, my lord. Yeah, Jesus, both of those two are just... I mean, everybody is, is pretty solid, uh, at least out of House Wolfhard. There's, you know, some of the other optional characters are a little, you know, not, not so great maybe. But anyways, all right, let's end this. Should gather the others. Perhaps they've found something by now. Clink. 
Okay, um, you know, one thing I'm gonna do here is stop in at the encampment before I do this next battle. I'm curious, actually, if anything is new. Which is especially grand today. Okay, yeah, still no no bracelets yet. Um, I don't know when those become available. Must be in one of the later chapters still. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it then. Um, I'll you know we'll be doing the the next battle in the in the next video. So as always though, hope the guide was helpful and thanks for watching.